your boy. <laughs> um, I'm here with Brett. We're going to be playing a 1v1 of uh, Oathbreaker. I told you the Oathbreaker content was coming. Um, hopefully within the next little while here, we're also going to get some commander gameplay and some uh, multiplayer Oathbreaker content coming. So today, uh, I'm playing a very themed deck off of the Wanderer. Which accidentally counters Brett's, maybe, depending on how much he can control the Wanderer. And a horrible proxy of Path to Exile, because I can't seem to find my real one. Uh, this is a heavily themed deck off of the Junji Ito uh, mythos and ideas. Um, just because, you know, my wife loves Junji Ito. And I wanted to build a Wanderer deck, so that's where we're at. There is a proxy of. Uh, mommy dummy uh, in here, but we did get an art card, so hey, same deck. Uh, Brett, what are you playing today? Today I am playing Chandra Dress to Kill with Valakut Awakening. Um, it is a Dragon's Approach deck. Basically, if Rummy Stone comes out, I should win the game. Mono Red Burn, baby. Mono Red Burn, baby. Alright. Uh, do you want to roll a d20 or two d6s for the first, sir? Uh, two d6s, I guess. Sure. I got a seven. I got a five, so you get to go first, sir. Cool. <clears throat> or actually, I guess you get to choose, because of... Are you on the play or are you, are you on the, uh, the draw? Um, I'll be on the play, I guess. Right. Typically, start? typically there is no, uh, there, there's no reason not to be on the, on the, on the play. Usually. Yeah. But, what, and then, uh, obviously, before we get started here, we did do a rule zero, more or less. Uh, we both kind of understand what the decks are. We play together a decent amount. And uh, before we get started, uh, nuke that like button and all that fun stuff, I guess. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All, right, all the YouTube stuff. All that YouTube stuff. Yeah. Uh, I will not be drawing, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, I'll just start off with a Terramorph Expansion Pass. I will start off with a draw because I am on the draw. Uh, and then shortcut, I'll just uh, search. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to hope that this eventually can turn on. Uh, I'm going to play an Ursa's Power Plant. Cool. Playing Tron. I do have the, all three of the Tron lands in here, and we're going to hope. <laughs> nice. And then I will pass the turn to you after you are done. Mountain, two for a ruby medallion, and pass. Rock row indeed. Alright, untap a draw. Uh, I'm gonna play a Helene. Nice foil Phyrexian one. Not Phyrexian packs, but I do have some of those, but they're all in my attack today. Nice. I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to play Dune Mover. This is a 2-1 Toxic 1 uh, Phyrexian Golem, and when he enters the battlefield, I may search my library for a basic land card, reveal it, and shuffle my library and put that card on top. So my next draw is going to have to be a point. Uh, and then I will pass while I tutor for that point. I'm going to get my nice fancy foil Kamigawa Neon Dynasty one. Play Barbarian Ring is land for turn. Absolutely. Uh, reduced by one, cast a Sulfuric Vortex. So that's the one where the ring. Any, any three casted spells uh, deal five, and then every upkeep deals one to everybody? No, that is uh, 
that's whirling whirling vortex this is at the beginning of each upkeep it deals two damage and players can't gain life okay cool 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 and then for one cast a satyr fire dancer good card good card and i'll pass equipment that gives an equipped creature plus two plus O, oh, and when equipped creature attacks, create a one one colorless Phyrexian Might artifact creature token with toxic one and this creature can't block. And the equip cost is two and a white. I'm gonna move to combat and I'm going to hit you for two damage and one impact. So I will take two and one toxic. Hashtag I'm toxic AI. <laughs> and then uh, I will pass turn. Don't believe me, just apparently ask everybody in the tabletop drafts. Upkeep, I'll lose two from the, from the Sulfur yeah. Vortex. And draw. See, now my goal is just get you to kill yourself with your own Sulfur Vortex. <laughs> right. Uh, cast Chandra, reduced by one. Yep. I will plus her to four for a red mana, Sweet. dealing one damage to you. Yes, sir. And use that one and Barbarian Ring, losing a life, cast a Dragon's Approach. Uh, three damage, correct? Yep. And then Seder will trigger and deal three damage to uh, your creature. Fair enough. All right, creature down. Pass. Actually, uh, yeah, I'll pass. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw, I shall play the plane, return, and uh, what is the power of your city? It's a 1-1. One, one. Okay, I'm gonna play the Wanderer. Uh, I can't exile that with the Wanderer because the Wanderer cares about big boys, so... Ha. Sucks to be you. It does indeed. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just cast the Wanderer and pass. Uh, my buddy Keith is two. And I don't, I don't know why or how, but like recently at my LGS, we've been getting a lot of these really, really old-looking like layers of faces. Nice. So in like the draft cap area, and I love me just looking through draft cap and and being that person that's like one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I will move to combat. Well, I guess I Hit the Wanderer for one. I, I guess I should put a dice on the Wanderer. Uh, the Wanderer now goes down to four after being hit by your creature. <clears throat> Second man plus Chandra to add a red and deal one to you, but you'll be prevented. Yes. Yeah, like not bad. Burn, it gets like burn next. Uh, actually, do you mind if I take it back the red mana? I'll do the other plus to exile the top card my library. Yeah, sure. Alright. Mountain. Oh, can't play that. Cool. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I will. Do nothing in that. Instead, tap two. Actually, no. I'll, wait. I'll pass. He will do nothing and pass. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, untap. Upkeep, draw. I will play a Plains as Lance Turn. Not getting drawn anytime soon, apparently. Uh, um, I'm going to tap two. I'm going to cast a black. 
Black Blade Reforged. I don't think I need to read that out because it's Black Blade. Got to lose two. Uh, I'm just gonna just nip this in the butt right now, and I'm gonna pack the uh, the satyr. You get a basic mm -hmm. land. Yeah. Enters tapped grip. Uh, actually, not 100 sure. Yes, it does. Yeah, I have a path somewhere. I just don't know where, and I have to really look through a lot of different shit to find it. Don't at me, comments. Don't at me. Um, and then, I guess, I'm just gonna have to pass, unfortunately. I'm not really getting a lot of creatures. Yep, you from Silver Vortex. Well, joke's on you, I needed that fourth land. <laughs> I will plus her for a red mana. Deal one prevented to you. <laughs> Step four for a primal amulet. Instance of sorcery that I cast costs one less to cast. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, I put a uh, card counter on it, and if there's four or more, I can remove them and transform it to a land. Sweet. So currently. I don't want to get up. Um, man, I'm losing so much value. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately the water just is an accidental counter, but it's literally the the most recent one that we built. We actually we actually built this together last night, my wife and I. So we were watching that new new to new to North America uh, show on Netflix that is Junji Ito, and my wife is obsessed with it. And as soon as my wife found out that there was Junji Ito art, she's like, <gasps> <laughs> so um, I will. One mana, you can damage off the barbarian ring. Yeah, it's a dragon's approach. Alright, so three damage will be prevented. Yep. You, get, you get to have the, another dragon approach in the grave. That's the plan. <laughs> and I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, I lose two. Whoop, whoop. So far, the plan is working. <laughs> we are ahead still. And we'll draw for turn. All right. Um, counter on the I'm gonna tap the five, and I'm gonna play a Kozilek's Channel. It is a four-four Eldrazi that also is a mana dork and can tap for two colorless mana. So, yeah. <laughs> that, that's you take the two off the vortex. Yes. Okay. Oh wait, actually, do I still take the two off of the vortex? Because that's not. Uh. Deals two damage. No, you don't. I completely forgot. I should probably be higher, but I missed it last time, but yeah, okay. That's good to know for future, though. Um, I am just gonna pass the turn after playing the Coslex Channeler. I have a creature, and hopefully, hopefully that'll lead to something. Two, draw. Joke's on you, you're gonna kill yourself. I don't have to do nothing. Plus Chandra at seven, make a red mana. That's gonna be real bad when it ults. <laughs> and he gets rid of the Wanderer, because the Wanderer is not. Five, cast a Throwing Stone. Okay. So I think that means you win? No, I don't have enough mana. I would need one more mana to be able to cast a Dragon's Approach. <laughs> Oof. And I'll pass. How much impact are you at? Just one, right? Just one. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, uh, I don't take two, and then I draw. And it's not necessarily guaranteed I'll win, but with uh, Ripple Four, is, it's pretty good. <laughs> what is the mana value of Throwing Stone? It's a five. God damn it. I drew a card that I was like, oh, this will get it, and then it didn't, and I was like, shit. <laughs> Purely based off of the combo. 
Yeah, basically I'll just be able to get all my dragons in the play. Yeah. Also, and then you... kill you the next turn. <laughs> This is this is a this is a thing that will definitely get me roasted in the comments and both of us is uh, the wonder does not prevent damage to itself, it only right. prevents it to me and other permanents. So you could have been pinging the wander this whole time. Uh, I'll be honest, I did not realize that Chandra could do damage to planeswalkers. Yeah, yeah Chandra <laughs> is either player or planeswalker. Um, I bet. All good. All good. Um. I guess I'll just equip the channeler with the thing. Yeah. I don't have enough mana to do the other thing, but that's okay. I could just exile it just for the walls, but that's gonna be redundant. I'll move to combat and I'll swing for six at you and then make a one one with infect. We'll go to ten. Which I actually give me two seconds. It's not a sponsor of this show, it's just something we think is cool. Thank you, Professor, for the line. Yes. Two seconds. We found the Infinite Tokens, boys. And we recently got new fucking markers. I'm my right here. I'm dropping things, but that's okay. Hello, future me. Let's edit. Let's edit me being a dangling out. Um. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dead air is always great in a video. It it really is. It really is. That's why <laughs> that's why we fill it with young whiskey music. Shout out young yeah. whiskey music. Um, yeah. We're gonna make a Phyrexian Might, which is a 1-1 one, one with Toxic 1. Phyrex. Might. Toxic 1. AF. And it is a 1-1. One, one. And it cannot block, so it does not matter. And then, uh, I'll pass. These markers are definitely the kind of markers that get you high and Eight. Go to eight and draw. Hey, land. Cool. Uh, because it's reduced by two, one from the amulet and one from the medallion. Cast the dragon's approach. Yeah. On cast, call firming stone trigger. Put the top four. Or rebuild the top four. So, is yeah, there, is there a, a way whiff? for you? Is there a way for you to just kill the wonder and then do this combo? I do not have a way to do that. Okay, yeah. so so technically the game isn't yet over. But if I yeah, it's a little like, non-deterministic. Um, <laughs> if I could deal enough damage, I could still pull one out of my ass. I will minus seven Chandra, get her emblem out. Yeah, and we'll. This I can do to any damage whenever I cast the red spell. Yeah. Should have done that before, but whatever. All right, let's try this again. Dragon's approach. Okay, so that is going to be uh, it's based on mana value, right? Uh, yeah. So um, I'll do the emblem trigger first. Do three damage to the wanderer. Yeah. So if you can, if you go off here now. You can... All right, there's the dragon's approach. Okay. So in theory here, you should win as long as the ripples are nice to you, which they should be. Hopefully. Alright, um, so this one... Uh, so, so Chromie Stone Trigger off that one, and then so, but, 3 damage um, to you. Yeah, 3 damage to me, which will actually go through 1, 2, 3. Oh, got 2 more Dragon's Perch, cool. So another 6. Highly likely you win here, but you could you could eventually accidentally win. It is possible. However, there is still now going to oh, be nine it, damage, would, yeah, three, six, nine, twelve damage there. coming at you. So yeah, as long yeah, as, yeah. all right, yeah, that's two more dragons approach. Yeah, I should be dead there because it's three damage from the dragons approach to each, and then three damage from you casting. So that would actually be twelve. But dragons yeah. approach, dragons approach, dragons approach. Yeah. Good, good shit. Yeah. 
You got it. I was actually super worried that I was just gonna complete accidental full counter you. Well, I unfortunately drew Utavari Hulkite that turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Alright, do you wanna do the same uh Oathbreaker and and uh signature spell? Or do you wanna switch that? Um Cause I'm imagining you have numerous at this point. Yeah, there is possible. Uh, I really like the Velka just in case I draw the dragons naturally, so I can put them back. Yeah, that's the main reason Velka's my signature spell. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I think I want to switch my deck for game two. I just gotta figure out where the fuck to put the deck that I want to play. So future. Mage. I would have to. I would have to put Liliana back together to play That's <laughs> Liliana. You can, you can still play Chandra and I'll play a different deck. So, future me, edit it in. So this one is also very heavy into Eldrazi, but uh, this one is Tamiyo, uh, Completed Sage. Okay. I've been pretty uh, loving of the Tamiyo. This is technically Tamiyo Tribal as well. It has every card with, the, with Tamiyo's name. Actually have the actually have the fucking uh, what's it called the the emblem. Well, it's not really an emblem; it's an artifact. But same yeah. Uh, one sec here. Got to like actually. Yeah, I'll keep my first seven. Uh, do you want to re-roll for first, or do you care? Sure. Just because I. I you might as well. Yeah, kind of what I was thinking. Five to six. Have you seen the new card, fucking Icar Moon Gauntlet? I sure have. It's fucking insane, dude. Oathbreaker staple. <laughs> oh yeah. Not, not even just Oathbreaker staple. That's gonna be a staple in any Super Friends type build that you want to. Oh, do. absolutely. This Tamiyo is insane in this format because even if you alter at like suicide level, it doesn't matter because the alt basically pays for the 
what's it called? The commander card. Oh, yeah. Card. Yeah, that's a pretty good card. Yeah, so this deck has combo potential. I will tell you that for a fact. No problem. Yeah. Alright, so welcome to, to game two, future me. Uh, thank you for editing. We don't completely hate future me. Um, we did a die roll. I won the die roll, so I get to go first. And uh, yeah, we are. I'm playing cameo, completed sage. I got the nice special uh, art, and it's foil. Uh, with the cameo safe keeping, and Brett is still playing uh, Chandra Jester too. It's currently the only Oathbreaker deck I have sleeved up. <laughs> that is very fair. Um, Possible I, this uh, video was a last minute notice. <laughs> also true. Also true. Uh, Cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> I will get us started with a Chrome Mox uh, exiling an Awakening Zone. And then I will play a Yavamaya Coast and then do nothing with either mana and pass. <laughs> Alright then. And we'll draw the turn. Left down Terramorph to Expanse, and then Search and Pass. This is looking very familiar, Brett. <laughs> yeah. That's the only card in my hand that was from the same as last game. That's fair. Uh, I untap if you draw, I'll play Forest, and one, two, three. Yeah, can't, still can't do anything with that. Uh, I'm just going to pass. Mountain and Firebright Archer. Whenever I cast a non creature spell, it deals one damage to each opponent. And pass. Uh, one sec, can you replay that turn? Because I have to. Sure. Go ahead. Play a mountain as for turn? Yep. Tap two for a Firebright Archer. Whenever I press a non-creature spell, Firebrand Archer deals one damage to each opponent. And then I'll pass. Alright, sweet. I will draw for turn. Hey, that's a card. I'll play Island. And... I could play Tamiyo. Legally, yeah. you could. I will pay two life, and I will cast Tamiyo uh, in the completed state. She comes in at, I believe, two fewer. Yes, two fewer. So she comes three. in at three loyalty as opposed to five loyalty. Um, and I will plus one her and tap down your uh, your dude. And he does not untap on your next untap step. Then I will, in fact, uh, pass after that. Untap drop. Play mountain. Play another familiar face. Seder Fire Dancer. Good card, good card. It's almost like a uh, 60 card deck is a lot more consistent. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly how it, it feels. Every time I play uh, it, I'm like, wow, this is actually yeah, so right. Time. Uh, combat, pass through combat, second main, nothing, end step, nothing, pass. Alrighty. I will untap, upkeep, no effects, and I will draw for turn. I will play an Alchemist Refuge. I'm going to tap for five, and I'm going to play a Guild of Lotus. And then I will plus one Tamiyo, and which one of those creatures is bigger, power, toughness, wise? Uh, Firebrand Archer is a 2-1. Okay, I'll keep the Firebrand Archer tapped in. Oh. Uh, and then I shall pass the turn. Uh, uh, mountain. Mountain pass. Just, just don't do anything. 
cast Chandra. Yep. Um, Firebrand Archer Trigger, you'll lose one. Is he at any time you cast a non-creature? Yeah, this one's a non-creature, yeah. Wow. It doesn't even it doesn't even specify that it has to be like a dissonance or something. That's, that's kind of crazy yep. actually. Oh, interesting. My my wife's Chandra Nest to Kill deck has Gamble as its signature spell. Nice. And as I mentioned, it's very themed off of my Atali deck, so it's literally just try and gamble for combo pieces and just go burr. <laughs> uh plus Chandra to four. For the her first ability to make the mana, and then deal one to Tamiya. In response, I'll tap Guild of Lotus, and I will Tamiya safekeeping targeting Tamiya to give her hexproof, indestructible, and I also gain two life. Boop, boop. Would she still lose? Um, no, because uh, hexproof. Yep. Okay. Well, like for attacks, would she still lose loyalty? Uh, for damage? Yes, it would just be. Okay. Um, to my knowledge, like that's the thing with indestructible. It doesn't really matter because it's a negative counter, realistically. So. So yes, you can uh, still attack. And really okay. Yeah, hit her for one. Fair enough. And pass. Alrighty. I will untap. basically does the crew fix thing, but without uh, being a creature and without uh, giving us an action attack. Just makes all of my mana uh, that remains floating not mana burn me and turn to focus. And then I will plus one Tamiyo, keep your other dude tapped down, and then I shall pass the turn. Barbarian ring. Uh, plus one Chandra for a red. Attempt to deal one to Tamiyo. Uh, I will. I'll allow it. <laughs> Alright. I'll allow it this time. Alright, so one red. I was thinking about it. I was like, hmm, should I? For five, cast Burning Stone. Womp womp. <laughs> Carbine Archer Trigger deals one to you. Move to combat. Yep. Then Seder Fire Dancer at. Then uh, at Tamiya. Sure. And pass. Uh, on NSF. I just need to hope he whiff, I guess. Pass the turn. They 
you said questioningly. <laughs> I'm Jeff I will play a Dwarven Mine untapped, because I have three or more other mantles. Checks out, I suppose. Oh, uh, yeah. enters a, when it enters the battlefield untapped, I'll make a Dwarf, not that it really matters. But who knows, something else for you to tap down. I might want to spice it up. I love those drawing already. It's, a, it's one of the Pac-Man ghosts. I like the dwarf. She's got a really big head. <laughs> He's a very, very tiny dwarf with a fucking massive head. I love it. The beard is like most of his body. <laughs> the beard is most of it. He actually has a normal sized head. He just has excessive amount of hair. Yeah, exactly. Deep lore behind this dwarf. All right. Um. Uh. Plus one Chandra for the mana. Deal the one to you. One to me. Oh no. Uh, okay. Use that one and two more. Cast Dragon's Brooch. All right. Three damage. One, two. Three. Uh. Trigger Firebrand Archer. Take one. One. And then. Uh. Roaming Stone trigger. Yeah. Three up top four. And four. Yes. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Another dragon's quick, throat quick. For a brand archer trigger, you take one. one two, three, four, total. And from your trigger. Quick, 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 quick. One, two, three, four. Five, two dragons approach. Son of a bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you take the one from Firebrand? Yeah. That's why I'm taking four. One or I have two more ripple four first. Yep. That's three dragons approach. Yeah. Um, that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, four. Yeah, you got Yeah, it. and then once they resolve, it'll definitely be enough to kill you. Uh, how far away was my Isochron Scepter? I had or uh, my dramatic reversal. I had Isochron in my hand. So I also like had four. three more dragons approach in hand. <laughs> oh, so far away. I untapped with four dragons approach in hand. See, the issue is, is I definitely had, if I had drawn the Dramatic Reversal off of the Kozilek, I I had Dramatic Scepter, and then yeah. I would just be able to, and then it would have been no matter if I could draw, because I have a Nyx Bloom in hand, an Icar Moon Gauntlet, and a Lab Man. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, oh, this is going to be really good. I meet the ball. Well, yeah, and the other thing, too, is if I have infinite mana, I can just sit there and go, uh, Tamiyo safekeeping for a thousand, and I have infinite life. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, two games, two different decks. Brett's uh, Dragon's Approach deck is pretty fucking good. I'd love to see. I think it. this would probably be a little more balanced in a four-player game. Yeah, potentially. Which hopefully coming soon. Yeah. Also, if you guys can't see it, because it's legal in this format, property perfect. <laughs> Ray's baby. My baby. I love property perfect. But thank you all for watching. Don't forget to do all that sell out shit. Um, and, and yeah, uh, I appreciate Brett for coming on. As always, he's always one of the best people for showing up. So thanks for having me.